Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today I want to introduce you to a piece that is very small but exquisite. It is a small golden frog that was made by an ancient artist in what is now Costa Rica or Panama. This piece was made with the lost wax casting technique. And what they would do is they would create the small sculpture in wax. They would then put mud around the wax, let it dry, and then bake it and the wax would run out and you would have the fired clay mold left. After that, you could then pour molten gold into that mold and produce multiples of these wonderful objects. This piece is only one and three quarters by one and five eighths by a half an inch. It is a very small piece, but I want to go through some of the exquisite detail with you. When you look a little more closely, you can see that it is a little crouched frog. You see its bulbous eyes on either side of its little head. And then there's a wonderful sort of rope image that goes all the way down the frog's back from its mouth all the way to the end of it. And its feet are these giant, wonderful flippers. This would have been worn as a pendant by some of the elite members of the society. And one of the things I think is really interesting about this piece too, if you look closely at the frog's mouth, it has some type of emanation that's being visually represented by these wonderful swirling forms. Now, whether that is to be the sounds that the frog was making, whether it is to be incense coming out in a ceremonial manner is on unknown to us. Unfortunately, we do not have writing from these cultures to tell us some of these things, and we are relying on educated guesswork as to the answers to some of these questions. Now, I also want to talk about gold in general. These ancient peoples in this grouping around Costa Rica and the general area were trading gold as well. This was a highly tradable commodity and it was passed from different cultural group to cultural group, which is why it makes it hard to determine exactly which ancient culture it was that made this. I have three listed, but we cannot know for sure definitively which of these three cultures produced this wonderful object. In addition, we believe that frogs stand for something such as fertility, rebirth, renewal of life. And part of the rationale for that is that frogs have large clutches of eggs and that abundance points to concepts such as fertility and renewal. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to sharing more Art Minutes with you soon. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.